A group of Lancaster teens is preparing for a national competition. As News 8's Jerry Gish explains, they will bear their souls with the spoken word. I really want to like cherish every single moment of this. <laughs> it's the moment this group has been working toward and waiting for. This could really shed light on when your voice is we rock the mic. These young women in Lancaster are part of a group called We Rock the Mic. For several years, they've worked on honing their craft. Knowing that I'll never be, another word fell on me, making me believe that I'll never be. In poetry and spoken word, they've been expressing the feelings that can sometimes overwhelm. Now, since I know how to let my feelings out, it's like the weight is off my shoulders. Like, I feel like now I'm more free. The next step, the group has been chosen to compete in a national spoken word competition. Brave new voices, an appropriate name for what these students do. Stay in a child's place. Speak when spoken to. You should be seen, not heard. Don't say a word. Ty Gant started the group. He's amazed at how the teens have changed as they've expressed themselves on stage and on paper. It's more than poetry, man. You know, it's, you know, the poems are getting a lot better, the words are getting a lot stronger, but these ladies are growing into young women and, and, and activists. And last but not least, those with low self-esteem. So yeah, it's a family. It's like a second family to, well, to us all. It might even feel like a first family. For some of us, it is a first family. Like, it, it's the only place you could come and just feel like you're all right, you're okay. Us women go through a lot. Here, there are more than words. There's love, laughter, and acceptance. I think that there are some people out there who are scared to voice their opinions, and I think that once they see that we're able to do it, then they're going to continue, and then they're going to want to do the same thing. <laughs> Jerry Gish, News 8.